everybody. I'm uh, hello everybody. Defensive Plus here, back with another video. Today we are reviewing the Ink Demon, aka Ink Bendy from Bendy and the Dark Revival. Sorry if I can't talk, but like, so this figure is really awesome. I found it at GameStop. Shout out to the Gold Bear Show because he's the first one who found these, and like, he, and I think he's. I, he didn't notify me, but I watched his video and it kind of told me where it was. He told me it said he said where it was. Yeah, just to get this out of the way, this game is not for kids. It's about a demon lurking around, and well, technically an ink demon, but like about a demon walking around, trying to grab you, and kill you. Basically horror game stuff. So yeah, sorry. Now let's move on to the review. So with his accessories, he has a gent pipe that has gent printed on it well painted on it and this is brand new brand new molding for a gent pipe I don't know but like I'm pretty sure it is because like I only have one gent pipe and it's from Boris or Bendy the original and I will compare just I need a few minutes so yeah it says gent nothing on the back looks like it's basically like a pipe structure just with it like a lace around it. Let's move on to the next accessory. Refocus, refocus, please. Refocus, refocus, refocus. Sorry. Well, my computer, my camera is being crap right now, so I'll be right back. And here we have the inkwell or something like that. Single focus for me. I don't think it's focusing, but it has bendy and a cross, an X under him. It has a little brush right here. Next, trust me guys, um, next review will probably be on a white background, or something like that. I just don't have room at the moment for, you know, uh, for my reviews. I'm sorry. There we go. So it has Bendy on it. Nothing on the back. Cartridge, not cartridge, but the little thing right there, like the ink slime, basically. Yeah, that's it for the ink slime. Uh, ink well. Let's move on to Bendy. Alright, so for Bendy here, let's go with his articulation first. So his articulation, he can go, like, he can move both his arms up, like, 360. Turn it 360, which I did not know that. He can turn his head 360. Don't want to risk breaking it, but I'm going to do it for you guys. He can turn his head 360. Both hands can go 360. His feet can go 90 degrees. Yeah, just 90 degrees. His black hand go free. Black hand can go 360. Now, with the details, as you can see, he has ink splotches. Not ink splotches, but ink abs, I guess. Or ink rivets. He has his bow tie. He has his very sinister grin. I think his, um, I think he has like two separate layers, because it looks like it. Yeah, it does have two separate layers, it's just not painted, like the line for air is not painted. He has his horns, his ink all over his face. His bow tie has a little bit of ink on it. He has part of his spine. He actually has his glove hand, not two glove hands, but he has one ink hand and one glove hand like in the game. So this one just has painting, paint, um, ink painted stuff, and two lines like you know how Mickey Mouse's gloves are where you know he has like stuff right here stuff right here like right here some like those I don't know what they're called he's just yellow and black and yeah I think that's it so yeah I wish he came with a base though honestly still a really awesome figure nonetheless And also, guys, I'm probably going to be inactive for a bit. Because I'm going somewhere for vacation. Christmas Day. Well, technically the 26th, the day after Christmas. But I am going somewhere on the day of Christmas. I won't be back till January 1st or later. 
So I'm going to pre-record these videos, get them edited for you guys, and, uh, and upload them day by day. We're scheduled to upload them. We're upload them when I get all back, when I get back. I really don't know, but like, I'll try my best to upload them. If there's no Wi-Fi, I won't upload them. I'll just upload them day, like at the days after January 1st. But this one's coming out today, the 22nd, 21st. Yeah, 21st. So yeah, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry for rambling, and yeah, bye. The, 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 the fun time I'll share or TFP reviews here back with another video. Today we're reviewing the brand new Bindi in the Dark Revival Ink Audrey action figure. I almost said Bindi for a second, I don't know why. So yeah. We're gonna start off with her accessories and move on to the figure. So yeah, let's get started. I forgot to mention the bulb went out too, so like, sorry if the quality's kinda bad. So, what she has here is an ink water bottle. I think it's a water bottle. It's yellow and it has bendy prints on it or painted on it. It's big. Focus, 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 please. It has bendy with an X under it. And it has bendy's ink leaking through. Sorry about the camera quality's bad. I'm trying to fix that sooner or later. So, yeah, that's been bendy water bottle. Let's move on to her. Her jump pipe with the electric electric outlet on it. So yeah, let's get to it. So for her electric outlet gen pipe, it's just like it's the same thing, just like a little bit thinner. And also it doesn't say gents on it. It's actually a blanket and she has like a power box on here. It's thinner and it has like, you know, multiple um, cords instead of like one or two. So yeah, that's it for her. Um, and she has like, you know, like digital, not digital, but um, power cords hooked up to right here for her, um, you know. So yeah, let's move on to the figure. All right, now for Audrey, let's move on to the artic start off with the articulation before we go into the detail. Her head can go 360, well mostly, without it, you know, breaking. But like mine's kind of stiff, so I'm not gonna risk it. Her arms can go off 360. Her hands can go freak 60 like all the Bindi merch. Well, most of the Bindi merch, I think. We well, know it was all of them. Her feet can go freak 60 like the Showdown Bandit merch. Her leg can go up like 90 degrees. Okay, now we're moving on to details. So she has one ink in hip. She has one inky foot and one average foot. Oh, sorry, my voice sounds kind of bad. So um, she has her details in her face. She has like um, I guess a Luke Skywalker hairpiece, not hairpiece, but like head, I mean, hair, old timey um hairstyle, I guess. She has one. She's halfly. She's partially covered in ink. Halfway covered, whatever. Partially, I would say. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention she has waist articulation. One normal hand with ink on it. She has ink in her flat on her flannel. And on here, she has her portal or portal or something like that to fix. Not fix, but like finish what Joey started. Joey Drew started. So she has this ink portal or something like that that brings them back to the light instead of a dark. Hell that they're put in. So yeah, I think this is it for the review. The figure doesn't come with any bases, but like, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, we TFP reviews here back on our video. Today we are reviewing the Samuel Lawrence action figure from Way Free of Bindi and Ink Machine, uh, Bindi and the Dark Revival. Send this, um, like, give me one second. Here are the four figures you can collect, Ink Bendy, Bendy, Ink Audrey, and Sammy Lawrence. We're reviewing Sammy, we already reviewed Ink Audrey and Ink Bendy. Alright, so starting off with Sammy Lawrence, he comes with two accessories, 
comes with an axe like his original figure and his um ink cut out bendy cut out like his original figure but here's the thing very yellow not white and I'll compare the original figure later I think these are made sturdier too I'm not entirely sure all right now for Sammy it's basically the same as the old one if I can get him real quickly good thing he's next to me if you compare them, he's a lot shinier, and this one's a lot matter. This one's in white, this one has white coloring, this one has actually feet now, and if you see right here, oh goodness, we'll pick up, but like he has, um, on, in real life you can see he has ink splotches right here. Maybe I can focus. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Well, I was trying to focus, but, like, he has ink splotches on his pants, believe me. They just don't, didn't paint it. So, yeah, last one will be the actual Bendy. And, yeah, I hope you guys like comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry about this review. is quick. And com I guess I'll call this a comparison. And, yeah, bye. Hello everybody, the Funza Plus here, back with another video. Today we are reviewing the, um, the Henry Bendy from Bendy and Dark Revival. Supposedly this is Henry, from what the rumors say. Um, we still don't know yet because Bendy and Dark Revival hasn't released yet. I'm going to call it Henry Bendy or just Average Bendy for this video. So I'm going to unbox this, review this, go over the accessory, accessories. You can already see the price for it. On the back, you can get, like, these four. I reviewed, um, this one, this one, and this one. For Sammy, Ink Audrey, and Ink Bendy. Just need to review this one. Then I have a whole set reviewed. Then I can make a compilation video. And, yeah. Let's get to it. So, now we're gonna unbox it. Right. I mean, I haven't actually opened uh, the average Bendy. I know that his head is rubber, for sure. There we go. Try not to damage the box too much. Let me take a second thought. I'll be fine. I have one saved. Okay. So the ink cut out. I meant Bendy cut out. And the Bendy trophy. And then Bendy. Oh yeah, his head is definitely rubber. Sorry here, headphone users. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, now everything's out of the box, so let's get started off with the accessories first before the action figure. So, the first accessory we have is this ink shield. I'm at Bendy Shield. Air quotes. Um, this is Bendy and his ink cutout. It's not really a shield, but they call it a shield. It's really awesome, really accurate to the game. I really like it. It's in this yellow tinted instead of white that they had in the second wave. Yeah, let's move on to the trophy. There's one more 360 of it. It's just black and yellow. That's all, basically all it is. And it's bendy stuff. So yeah, let's move on to the trophy. Alright, so for the trophy, I can't really tell what he's doing. If he's giving you a thumbs up or something else. But yeah, it's a really good, it's a really good mini, but like... Looks kind of like he's flipping you off a little bit, honestly. Or he's just telling you to shh, honestly. That's what it looks like. Let's move on to the action figure. Alright, for Bendy here, uh, my only complaint is his arms and his freaking head are made of rubber. I don't like rubber stuff, in my opinion. It annoys me. But I can understand why, because the original Bendy was top heavy. I never had an original Bendy figure, well... A bendy figure until now, because Dark Revival. So his face is just the same thing as the original, it just has ink smears and cracks on it this time. A little bit larger. And his arms can go like 90 degrees on each side. His hands have ink on it. On each side. His feet, his feet can go turn 360. Never mind, it can't. It's gonna break. Never mind, one foot can barely go. 
but like you can sit down you can sit down he has pinstripes on his legs and on his pelvis area and yeah and he has this um, tuxedo looking thing brown tuxedo with the two yellow buttons and ink on his and he has a bow tie too nothing on the back besides the um, strap for it some more details and yeah that's basically it for Bendy from Dark Revival so I usually don't put their accessories on so don't expect that so I hope you guys like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys next time bye